Hi, I'm Tara Electra. You're watching Hollywire. What's up, Hollywire? Gabby Conti here with Tara Electra, who is the co founder and CEO of Unruly Agency. Tara, welcome to the studio. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. I'd love to play a quick little game with you. Yeah. I'm going to ask you some Hollywire first. First moment you realized that you were on to something? When it started making money right away. Who was your first client? It was actually a very small influencer. Her name's Alana Durgan. The first social media platform you ever had, what was that? MySpace. 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 I've been on every single social media platform. Do you remember your first post? I just remember posting like selfies probably. So tell me a little bit about Unruly Agency and how you came to start this. Yeah, so we've been around for about two and a half years. We work with a lot of different influencers on social media. Really what we, our core business is, is we're a marketing agency. So we help drive traffic behind talent to help them convert a lot higher than they would organically. So why influencers? Why was that what you wanted to focus your agency on? I've just worked with influencers for the past seven years. So been friends with a lot of these people, seen their struggles, really seen the side of like the businesses that monetize with them and the influencers on their end, what their struggles are. And I can see both worlds. So I help benefit them in ways that they might be looking for in their career that they don't even know they need yet because I can understand both worlds. So that's why I really honed in on this atmosphere and been and known I could bring a lot of value there. What is the biggest struggle that you feel most influencers face in their career? Once influencers become known, their biggest problem is staying relevant. Mm -hmm. It's hard to make it and it's hard to keep it. So I think that's one of their biggest struggles. So much of social media is that instant fame, right? Like yeah. you get this one video and then how do you continue to make your fan base continue to watch what you do without repeating the same thing over and over again? Exactly. So what advice would you have to someone who just hit it big on TikTok? Once you see what it is that your audience likes, obviously you want, people do like familiarity. So in a way, it's some people are like, okay, don't keep doing the same thing. But you do want to kind of stick to something similar that your audience clearly liked and then find little ways to tweak it. So that would be my advice when you first blow up on a video. And call you. <laughs> yeah. <hopefully. laughs> it feels like it's so hard for an influencer to be more than just an influencer to make that jump into movies or TV. Yeah. So uh, do you have clients that are trying to do that? And like, how how can you do that? Once you have the audience, it's really about like the team around you. It's becoming more innovative. That's why I really focus in on us being a marketing agency because we're helping grow the influencers beyond what they're currently doing and building them to where they wanna go. And what do you think about social media platforms like ever changing? I mean, yeah. so how do you know which platform to pick as a influencer? Obviously TikTok is blowing up and it's been popular for two years, maybe three years now. It's definitely the easiest one to grow on. And then really understanding with any new platform or any platform in general, when they launch new features, utilizing those features. I understand you have this new project, Roll, which sounds yeah. amazing. Can you tell me more about that? <laughs> Roll is amazing. I was super excited about it. I met the founder of it about a year ago. He really saw the whole paywall industry, like realizing that monetizing content is very powerful for creators. So it's more of like the BTS behind the scenes. Imagine if you saw your favorite celebrity and this is what happened. It's very intimate, it's very real. People are so sick of not feeling like these celebrities and influencers have any authenticity. Everything's like a perfect photo or a perfect video. So here on these paywall platforms, it's about being more intimate, showing your like real struggles. And I think that's what fans are craving. So I think that's why paywalls will keep growing. It's almost like allowing fans to be a close friend on Instagram, right? Yeah. To see what they're only showing. They're real people and yeah. it kind of allows that access. And I think it really builds you like a super fan base mm -hmm. because people are going to be loyal fans to you if they feel like they can relate with you. And they feel like you're connecting to them. So I think it's a very important aspect of people's career. So I do believe in the next two years, every celebrity and influencer will have a paywall. It's a good prediction to make. <laughs> a lot of predictions happen here in the studio, so yeah. I'll keep you posted on that one. So how did you know that this is what you wanted to do? How did you know that you wanted to start an agency and kind of work with all these brands and products? I think I just like was very fascinated about social media and I remember I remember being like, if I'm gonna be on here for hours and hours and I need to make money from it. So then I just kept studying like, how are people making money? And I met this one guy that managed a few influencers and I begged him to let me be his assistant. I was forced into actually running the business, which then made me learn everything. So that's kind of how I led into like the agency world of managing talent and helping them monetize. And you also have a podcast coming out soon? Yes. On the podcast, I really wanna hone into things that people are not asking these influencers and things I know about them. Thanks so much. Tara. Yeah. Nailed Thank it. Thank you.